Hello, hello. So, we're continuing our playthrough of Cage. Let me show you. He's our dude that we just made, and he popped up in the wilderness. We're in White Run. We're in White Run because I always come to White Run to grab my crafting materials, and we're not going to do any differently with Cage. We're going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I don't have the money for your prices, I don't think. Let's see, is she... Yeah, okay, she's just got her hair. You can see the... The guard armor replacer is cool. Now, this is Breeze Home. Now, I do not own Breeze Home on Cage yet. I haven't grabbed all the keys yet either, so I don't think I can get in. Nope. But I'll, I'll grab all the keys and stuff. But, uh, I think White Run looks pretty cool. Oh, everybody's going to talk to me, don't they? Matter of fact, should we stop and... Oh, actually, i got to go in the... i got to go in the inn anyway. So what we'll do is we'll just... We'll sell to Xenia in here. I'm not being too loud here. I don't know. Maybe my game is being too loud, but we'll find out. Now, if you use the cheat spell to clone her, she makes a pretty good follower, too. chopping up wood for you. You're on your own, girl. No, oh, I don't want to talk to you, girl. Xenia back here. Haha, <laughs> sometimes she is early on in the game. Alright. Um, yes, train me. Oh, wait, I don't have much money. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. Can we get that last one? No, we don't have enough money. Hold on. What do you got for sale? We'll sell her some stuff. We have some junk to sell. No, we're keeping our scimitar. It's a curved sword. Um, I don't want to sell those. Those are part of the crafting stuff. I'll sell that. I was going to keep those. I have enough to pay for the training. I was actually going to keep those and wear those. I could sell his clothes. I'm going to make him something better. Yeah. I'm just going to sell these. We don't want these. They're, they have like no value for us. Um, we'll keep the potions. I don't want to overly enrich him by accident. I want him to uh, grow his wealth as normally as possible, understanding that I am cheating, so it's not going to be totally normal. I understand that, but as much as possible. Though, the economy in Skyrim is pretty easy to deal with. I mean, even from a vanilla perspective, when you're playing the game, you just... There we go, that's our five. You just, uh... You just play the game and sell your loot, and you're... You will make money pretty quickly, pretty easily. So do I want to get any of the food stuff? You know, I... Oh, that's right. He's okay. He's like, ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm the manly man. All right. Anyway, so let's see here. Um, I just want to grab a couple of things. I don't have to have everything, but there are some buff foods that are worth grabbing. I like the chicken dumplings. And I like, I really like, I'm not going to grab everything, because usually I grab too much stuff, to be fair. Um, garlic bread cures all diseases. It's worth grabbing. And I think my favorite is, there is a row. There's a row. We need the row. Where is the row? 
You know, I thought this was... Oh, there he is, Salmon Row. That's it. We need that in case we want to make some... Um, potions with it. And then, we just want... What I really like is the Venison Stew. Because it does health and stamina. Because, let's face it, I'm going to probably do the same thing I always do. Which is a one-handed fighter. So. Alright. So that's enough of that. I don't want to overdo the food and stuff. He's got chicken and dumplings and some venison stew for when he needs it. Alright. Let's move on. I'm going to start doing a few quick saves to make sure we're okay. I'm going to play Cage, I think, primarily in first person. He ain't done nothing. I like the monk robes like that. Should I talk to her and pick up her quest? Maybe I should. Hold on. Oh, I don't want to get distracted though. Hold on a second. distracted with her quest right now. I'm going to go finish getting our supplies and then I'm going to get Cage back to where he belongs to start doing his start really playing his game. This is just some character preparation that I do and I always like to do this as much as I can You'll see me do some quick saves before I go through doors in case we have any trouble. But so far, this load order has been very, very good. I traveled all the way around the world with charity. I went to almost every town and in every inn and all that stuff. And I, what else did I do? I went and uh, I did a lot of crafting and messing around. Some of those are a little too dark, aren't they? Hmm. Now, I have turned off um, for not, I am not using the usual saturation that I use for my game because I was hoping that the opulent outfits would look better if I did not saturate the game. Now they look good, but I, I may I may add just a tiny bit of saturation to my game and see what difference it makes. Let's do that now while I'm, while I'm just messing around. Let's just add one, two. Three. Let's just add that little bit of saturation and throw in a contrast. I usually throw in one contrast. But no, now notice it, it changed this out here. But I think that's in a good way and it didn't really... Oh, hold on a second. I gotta make sure that my... Let's see, I need to make sure that my books are enabled properly. Let's check this out. Okay, so this, okay, that's disabled, that's not good. That's enabled, that's correct. Bloom is enabled, that's not good, I want it disabled. And now it's disabled, okay. Well, my lighting just changed, but it may be because I added what I just did. I think now, I think with that, just that little bit of saturation, I think the game looks better. 
and I don't think it messed anything up. So we're going to ride that out. Let me just save our options the way they are. Let's save our current settings. And that's just with some minor saturation. Not a lot, but you can tell a difference. Like, let me just stand here. I want to see if this shows in the video. Let me remove all the effects. And you saw how the, the saturation, the coloring just kind of dropped out of this room. And that was just minor, minor saturation. And it changes the lighting in that room. Now watch this. Let's do this again. Let it load that up. Oh, we're getting a thunderstorm outside. Now it's loading those settings. It's all, see there it changed. Just that little bit of saturation changes this room and adds quite a bit of color. Now I didn't change this room overly much, but it did add some color to things. I don't know. I think it looks good. I'm going to ride that out. We'll see how our game looks. I think his robes, if matter of fact, his robes may look better now. So I'm going to ride that out. I think it's raining and stuff outside. So my feet are clomping. Wait, is he still running? <laughs> I still haven't put any clothes on him. That's okay, though. We're going to go make him some cool stuff. So. I think we're done with this right here. Let's go to the cheat room. Now remember I saved our original position so that we can pop down to his camp and we're going to start playing from there. That's what we're going to do. Let's see, I got his skills all correct. I went and put his points in. Um, let's see, does he have a torch? Did I make him a torch? or a pile of torches. I usually like to make a pile of torches. He has one torch. Well, let's fix that. Let's make some torches. Because I'm going to want them, because I'm going to probably have some places be dark in this playthrough. A <laughs> hundred torches usually do it, because you get more off of bandits and stuff as you kill them. So. torches yay it's an easy way to duplicate something if you wish to make a lot of something <clears throat> okay so now I do want him to have some potions too but we'll worry about that in a few minutes I'm probably going to keep it simple on potions and not overdo it um oh hmm Actually, there was a problem when I made the uh, the high duty potions. It didn't like there was something about that that the game didn't like sometimes. I think I was overdoing it on Thor. Anyway, I like I like the way he looks. I think he turned out really well. Let's go down. To the, I want to see this stuff. Do we want him in heavy armor or do I want light armor? There is a good light version. Let's let's make it all and try it out. Noble armor? Well, again, let's just try it out. We'll um 
This is a heavy shield. And a light. Oh, it's a heavy shield. Oh, he doesn't have a light shield? Really? No light shield? Well, okay. I, I appreciate the... Tr you know what? We're going to try it on. We'll just try it on. It'll be fun. Um, he's got his scimitar. I don't know if I want to change that. And I don't think I want two scimitars. I did think about doing two scimitars, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I might need this because he did not have a light shield option, and I think I want him to do light armor. So let me make this in case it will work with his outfit. Let's see. It's a scimitar. I think isn't that what he has? Let's let's just make that. He may he may have that already, but let's just make that to be safe. We'll have him use whatever's best. Let's see, would this go with his outfit? Hmm. Those, I kind of like those two really good. Where are the other shields? There are some other shields. Are they in Ebony? Or Daedric? I can't remember. That's a nice one. You know what, we're just going to make a couple of these and try them out. Oh, these are all heavy though, aren't they? That's a light one. Uh, I'm not sure if it's what I want though. Mm. We'll try it out. Yeah, that's a heavy one too. Does, was there any? I don't think there were any in. No. I think. Is it Dragon that has one? Let's go down to the bottom. Nope. Oh, it's Daedric, I think. I think Daedric has. No. Hmm. Maybe those four are all there are. I may not remember exactly. Let me take a look at the mod. This is part of, since this is part of our um, playtesting, just bear with me. I'm going to take a look at that mod and see where the where those shields are. If there's some else I can look. Because there was just that one light one. I'm not sure I want that. So I may have to use that other one I made, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. You know, there's a couple of little mods that I happen to think of that I don't have in my load order this time. I don't have... I used to keep a light blade shield mod, which I don't have down here. And let's see, is there something else? I was thinking of something else, but I think I have forgotten it now. So easy for me to forget, but I've used so many different mods that it's kind of difficult to remember everything. So let's find, here we go. Is it just those four? Four unique shields. So I saw all four of them. Okay. So and the only, the only light shield is just that one. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I was going to put him in light armor. Hmm. I could put him in heavy armor. It's, it's a consideration. Maybe I'll wait and see what I think looks better. <laughs> Which is kind of a silly way to go, but it, I'm not beyond that. Alright, so we made some stuff. Oh, you know what? He's going to need a bow. He's going to need a bow and some arrows. So, now I'm trying to remember where the Nordic bow is. Let me just look here. A lot of things are in steel. But I don't see the Nordic bow, and we didn't see it when we were here earlier. We can look in iron. I don't, don't really think it's here, but in case I don't remember correctly. There's also these Viking shields. We could do one of these. 
so that's a consideration if we wanted to do a more rugged look like that's a plain rugged shield which for being a beginning adventurer that could be interesting Hmm. Okay, it wouldn't be in leather, would it? What's this? Oh yeah, this is black. Okay, this is some cool stuff too. So we have a lot of different things that we could try and look at. But, I don't want to take forever doing this, but this is just the setup. This is before we really start playing, so... Um, this is part of, I'm going to call this still a playtesting situation where we're getting him ready to play his game. He's not done any quests yet. He's still, you know, Mr. Level 1 with no real experience. But he's still Cage, so he'll be good. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I read too many comics as a kid, obviously. But, you know. It's all a matter of what you like. Did they put it in Nordic? Maybe they actually put it in... No, I don't see it. I don't see it here. Is it in miscellaneous? Maybe that Nordic bow is in miscellaneous. You know, I forget where things are sometimes. I don't want to make him like a blade like I have others. I want him to be his own man. Be his own different thing. It's more fun that way. Mjolnir, which is cool. Now, there is the Nightingale bow, which I think is cool, too. I have a couple of variations of that due to mods. Okay, I didn't see the Nordic bow. That means I have totally missed it somewhere, like a doofus. Maybe I have the name wrong in my mind. I, you may have even seen me go right by it. Let's look at that mod. <laughs> I'm so bad. Uh, just so many different things trying to do. But the Nordic bow is really my favorite. It is out of the mod bows. Now there is there is a pack of bows you can get. And I think Morgan, Hel Morgan Helsing did it. And it's some pretty unique bows. They're very fun. I didn't get them for this because you can tell I'm pushing my, my space limit. Oh, it's Valiant Nordic, and it's under steel, so I went right past it. It's Valiant Nord Bow. Okay, and it's under steel. So I was right the first time when I was looking here, saying it's probably under steel. So how I missed it, I don't know. Yep, here it is. Plain as day. I just went by it too fast. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to make me a Nord bow. Alright, so he's got a scimitar. There is something I do have to do, because I'm playing with the mighty dragons. I have to make sure that I have backup weapons. 